Thank you to the witnesses uh, for, for joining us here today. Uh, my home state of Missouri has helped chart the path of human exploration. As the gateway to the West, Lewis and Clark set out from St. Charles, Missouri at the confluence of the Missouri and Mississippi rivers to further our nation's westward expansion to the Pacific Ocean. Additionally, Marshfield, Missouri's native son, Edwin Hubble, proved that there were galaxies beyond the Milky Way offering new realms of discovery. America's drive for exploring the unknown has always been a unifying force for our country. And our nation has and always should be at the forefront of exploration, period. Dating back to the advent of the space race, and human exploration in the Mercury missions, the need for the U.S. to be the preeminent leader in space has been critical to our national and economic security. Then Russia was our key adversary. Today it's China. The U.S. is privileged to have some of the foremost aerospace companies in the world, with three of them represented in front of us here today. As ranking member of the Space and Science Subcommittee, I want to do everything in my power uh, to leverage the abilities and in innovation of the U.S. company of those U.S. companies in order to maintain American space dominance. When considering new frameworks for regulation in space, it is imperative that the appropriate agencies develop thoughtful, light-touch standards for the development and deployment of technologies of suborbital, orbital, cislunar, and lunar commercial operations. Innovation thrives under light-touch regulations, not the heavy hand of government. The FAA's moratorium on regulating commercial spaceflight operations, otherwise known as the learning period, is set to expire on January 1st, 2024. The learning period has afforded us the robust commercial spaceflight industry we have here today. It's important uh, that that learning period be extended to provide both industry and the FAA enough time and data to establish an appropriate off-ramp to a more permanent framework for the commercial space industry. We must also streamline and reform existing regulations within the FAA and the Department of Commerce to refocus our federal agency's core functions on of timely licensing and safety to ensure that the American companies lead the world. I have led efforts here in the Senate with my colleague, Senator Hickenlooper, to streamline the FCC's role in spectrum licensing for commercial space launch and reentry to provide a more certain and timely licensing process that keeps pace with the increased launch and reentry demands of the commercial space industry. That bill has passed committee, and I hope we can get it passed on the floor actually this week. I intend to take that same approach, and an approach that emphasizes timely review and approval of licenses and certifications when it comes to the processes at the FAA and the Department of Commerce. Additionally, it's important that the larger commercial space industry has regulatory certainty and clarity to plan for the future to head off the larger threat of China and our adversaries in space. If federal agencies continue to, st to stray from their core functions or add to the current bureaucratic, bureau bureaucratic mess, we could very well see valuable American companies leave our shores. I, for one, and I know my colleagues join me in not wanting to see that happen. I believe that those agencies play an important and critical role in com commercial space development. However, when agencies start stepping uh, in overreach, uh, it becomes unclear what, what the agency guidance actually is and in who's in charge of what. We only further put ourselves at a disadvantage. Congress should not stand idly by and watch agency turf wars. We must be clear-eyed about the goal, stopping China through American space dominance. To me, nothing could be more important. Madam Chair, as we look uh, to the new frontier of space ex exploration in future generations, America must be the first back to the moon, the first nation to set foot on Mars, the first nation to capture and harness the resources of galactic asteroids. These goals are vital to the next stage of human curiosity. Our future generations depend on us to get this right. I look forward to hearing from the witnesses here today to ensure this committee develops a thoughtful and balanced approach to any future commercial space um, exploration bill or commercial space bill that promotes, not hinders, American industry. I yield back.